today I have a amazing spread for the seafood boil. I am so excited because today we got the seafood boil from Boiling Crab. If you guys watch all of my seafood boils, then you probably know by now that I love kicking crab. If you guys live in Orange County, kicking crab and boiling crab seem to be the most popular places to get the actual seafood boils in bags. It's absolutely delicious. I usually go to Kicking Crab because I really do like their sauce, but today I was near Boiling Crab and I was like, I haven't had it in a few months. It's been, I think, over a year or maybe around a year, so let's try it again. Today on the menu, we have a pound of King Crab legs, we have a pound of mussels, a pound of crawfish, a pound of shrimp, uh, cucumber, sausage, and white rice. <laughs> To drink today, we have ice cold water. Nothing pairs well with seafood boils like ice cold water. I love my seafood boils without the sauce. I like dipping it in butter, but I also love uh, the sauce from Boiling Crab and Kicking Crab. So we are going to see today if I still like Boiling Crab though, because it's been a while, so you know, my taste buds might have changed. They also give you huge pieces of lime, you guys. Ginormous. So without further ado, bon appetitis. Oh, by the way, if you're new to the channel, my name is Kim. This is my mukbang channel. Please subscribe and join our family. We are super welcoming and nice, and I just love, love, love my mukbang family. Tradition. The first thing we always do on this channel for seafood boils is sausage, rice, and cucumber. So this is their sausage. We have rice on the side. Oh yeah. Mmm. That is good. Wow. Fill that in. Having a little bald spot right now. <laughs> oh my gosh! It is absolutely delicious. However, I must admit, the sausage at Kicking Crab is a little bit better. Just a little bit. Still absolutely delicious, you guys. Oh, okay, just one more. Just one more. I can't help it, okay? Mmm. Wow. Also, we are loving the white background. We love her. She is clean. She is chic. She is polished. I love a good white background, you guys. I do love my color. You know, I've been experimenting with different colors, but nothing beats a white background. We're going to go in with some mussels. Wow. My neighbors were fighting. Mmm. Okay. We have crawfish. Got to use all the fingers now. Oh. So good, went down the wrong hole, but it was so good. We have shrimp. Yay, they're not overcooked, friends. I have a little bowl here for my shells. They are not overcooked. Mm. 
Mmm. You know, eventually, I always end up using my hands. We start with the spoon to be like all cute and shit, and then it's just easier with your hands. So yesterday, you know, you guys know how I've been like doing two videos a day. Yesterday, I only had one video because I filmed an ASMR and the mic did not work. <laughs> so I do apologize. I have honestly given up on that mic. Last night I did major research on what mics was good and how to set things up, so a new mic is coming. Thank you so much for those who still watched the video and enjoyed it. You guys know what drink I haven't had in a while? Arizona green tea with ginseng and honey. It's been a very long time. Mm. Oh. She was saucy. <laughs> Okay. I just got sauce on my dress. It's fine. Um, when it comes to the crawfish, when it's like, when it's cooked and boiled in just dry Cajun and seasoning, I absolutely love sucking the head because like the Cajun is so good. But when it's um, cooked in this sauce and you suck the head, it is sometimes way too strong. Well, RIP to this dress. We shall put her right into the laundry machine. <laughs> The last seafood boil, I wore a white shirt. Very, very bad idea. Mm. I do love that boiling crab has these huge pieces of garlic. Because I love garlic. <laughs> Okay. Let's do some king crab legs. King crab legs seem a little bit bigger. Mmm. Wow. So this whole seafood boil cost me $90, which is a lot of uh, seafood for 90 bucks. Usually for my seafood boils, I like to keep it $150 and under. And they also feed me two days. I always save the seafood or give it away to my family. But if I do save the seafood, then I'll eat it the next day or I think I just got something on my face. <laughs> or I can reuse uh, it to eat for another mukbang. Oh, I got sauce on my face, sorry. So you guys know, no king crab legs beat the one at Costco. But these are pretty good. Let's do a little lime. Oh yeah, and then dip it in the sauce here. Okay. That's pretty good. Wow.
We are living life today. That's my neighbor's garage opening. <laughs> oh, you know what? I've been wondering to ask you guys. If you watch more mukbangs or more ASMR eating videos. So personally for me, I love both. I love watching mukbangs, but for the most part, I really enjoy ASMR eating videos because there's no talking. I just love watching someone eat for 20 minutes. Um, but you know, everybody's different. But I was just curious, you know, to see if you guys definitely watch more mukbangs. I assume that if you're here right now, you're definitely a mukbang watcher. But you never know. This one has a little bit of eggs. I love eggs. Like seafood eggs. Mm. Wow. Let's do I think the next time I do a seafood boil I need to remember to put eggs in. I always forget the eggs, you guys. I need to write it on my forehead. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna add some shrimp. And then I'm going to get some rice. Maybe it'd be better if we use a spoon for this. Some rice. We're going to put the shrimp on top. And then I kind of want a sausage. On top here. Oh, that looks beautiful. She is beauty. She is grace. Love her. Okay, we have a cucumber ready. I don't know if my mouth is big enough. Hang on. Uh. Okay. Oh my god. That was everything. Oh wow. Well. We have to do that one more time. I have my sausage ready. Oh yeah. God, this tastes so good every single time. Okay. We get some rice. There's your rice. We get a shrimp. This is so cute, by the way. Like, hors d'oeuvre. Would you like an hors d'oeuvre? Like, at a party, you know? Yes. This is hors d'oeuvre, bougie on a uh, budget. Bougie, yeah. Bougie on a budget. Okay, ready? 
Okay. Wait, I have to get me a cucumber already. Oh, she's right here. Okay. You know what would be also really cute? If you, for like hors d'oeuvres, you put like a layer of rice and then a shrimp and a sausage. Oh my god. Did I just create something for the next mukbang? We'll have to do that. That sounds really fun. That is the tits. Oh my god. Titties. Mmm. That's so good. Okay, let's do a quick water break. <sighs> Ice cold water is so good. Did you know that you're supposed to drink a gallon of water a day? That's a lot of water, and I don't think I've ever reached that point. But water is really good for you. When you start drinking a lot of water every single day and you keep it consistent, you really do see like you have more energy, your skin looks better, you're more glowy. Water is amazing, but also too much water can get you sick, so be careful. I think there's like a formulation. It's like a certain amount of water per pound of per weight or something like that. Oh my god, I just dropped garlic on this dress. I really did like this dress. I got this dress on sale. We love a good sale, okay? <laughs> we love a good sale. Oh my gosh, I got seafood on the floor. This is great. I just bought this book from... Um, well, I originally saw it on YouTube, and then I was going to get it on Amazon, but it was $37 on Amazon. And then I went on Barnes & Noble to see if they had it, so I didn't have to wait for shipping. And Barnes & Noble had it for $17, so I saved, I think, yeah, I saved $10, you guys. Just kidding, $20. Your girl cannot do math. Save 20 bucks. I have to go pick it up, but it's all about the lull of attraction. If you guys know anything about that, or if you believe in it, a lot of people don't believe in it, which is completely fine. We all have our own opinion. I totally believe in the law of attraction. I totally believe in manifesting. If you're into that shit, let me know. We can be like real tight. But um, yeah, comment down below. Uh, I don't remember the, the book's name. I think it's by some someone, I think Abraham or something. But it was recommended because it's a really good book. So I'm excited to read it. Your girl hasn't really read since first grade. So <laughs> like I... I, I will admit that's something I want to improve this year into 2021 is like at least damn read one book Kim gosh not much of a reader I think I've always found reading um I guess you could say boring but not boring like I've, I've always been somebody where my mind doesn't know how to relax so I always have to read out loud in order to comprehend because surprisingly you definitely can read in your head and not comprehend a single word that's how my brain works so I just kind of gave up on reading but I'm very very excited I'm like a reading out loud kind of person but yeah I definitely believe in uh, the law of attraction. I definitely believe in manifesting. Last year, Carlos and I 
manifested so many things and so many things did happen, which we pray for every single day, you guys. Um, there's different ways to manifest. I don't know if you guys are interested, so I'm sorry if I'm wasting your time. Um, but people manifest with um, the um, the vision boards. People do vision boards. People do, um, they save things on their Pinterest board if you want to do it more digital. People write in journals. Um, at the beginning of the year, I heard that people write down like their goals for the year and then they like burn it on a candle. Um, people meditate. There's so many ways to manifest. Basically, the point of manifesting is whatever you want into your life, you talk out loud and you kind of uh, shoot it out into the universe. But I also do believe that you have to work extra hard for things that you want in life. But I think it's a great way to keep somebody like me where my mind is like all over the place. It's a great way to kind of keep my mindset gathered and collected and on track. But... Hey, let me know. I don't think I've ever asked you guys that before. And I would love to learn more about you. So, and I love reading your comments. I've been doing shout outs in every video and it's been really cool seeing all of your businesses and supporting you in any way that I can. Mmm. Did we eat all the crawfish? You know what you can do with the leftovers for the seafood? I can put it with uh, white rice and make it into like a... Um, there's this dish, I think, uh, I'm probably saying this wrong, pa paella? Paella? Paella, right? It's, it's like a, um, a rice dish and it has seafood in it. You literally could take the sauce and the extra over shrimp and mix it with uh, white rice. I think I might do that tomorrow. A lot of people always say, Kim, you always have leftovers in your video. Like, it really bothers me. I am so sorry. When I do mukbangs and I'm full, I tend to stop because I don't want to overeat. I also like to save food for the next day. Because $90 split into two days is better than $90 for one day. <laughs> Or if I don't eat it the next day, I always give it to my brother. Who watches all of my mukbangs and always asks where his where the extras are. Mmm. I love crawfish. I think I finished all the crawfish. guys I found the boba ice cream that everyone's been talking about it is delicious I bought like eight boxes oh my gosh excuse me I didn't mean that sorry I bought eight boxes you guys it took like two months to find them they were so popular everybody was talking about them and I feel like especially because the fact that I live in Orange County and everybody in Orange County seems to be obsessed with boba uh, we have boba shops literally in every corner but 
yeah, I feel like everybody was at the store trying to buy these things. Friends, this video is now coming to an end. I am so, so sad. I'm going to miss you guys so much. But the good news is I see you tomorrow. I love you guys so much. If you are new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Come back every single day for a brand new video. I love sharing my life with you guys. I cannot believe that we've had this mukbang channel for almost two years. I believe this August will be two years. Let me know if you've been here since the very, very, very first few videos. Your support and love and kindness and positivity means so much to me. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. I love you guys. You guys are amazing. I hope you guys are doing well. Please leave a comment down below. Give this video a big thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And also subscribe to my other channel. I'll have the links down below for you guys. You'll get many more videos to come. But I will see you guys back here tomorrow with a brand new video. I love you. I'll talk to you then. Bye, my loves.